moving around so much, Bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes I do. Well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. One of these days, we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Ah, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with emetics! 
the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. Let me just fiddle with the reception here. Put it back, Sam. Put it back. There. That fixed it. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Aha! Oh, there it is! Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Voila! Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! Greetings! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. We've met your demands. We got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German-crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Can I go now? I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry, amateurs. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. A dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Tutti ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Light's too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? 
Don't like hides, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ass guy. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yay! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers, and the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you. Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great. Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish, and they move, and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. Huh. You made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's eyeball. Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate. I was heavy into three ring binders at the time, and I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and in the Way. Never saw that walker coming. Well, that's nice. By the way, we're freelance police, and you're under arrest. No, I've really got to finish this. But thanks anyway. Um... Seriously, you're under arrest. Come along quietly and no one gets hurt. Actually, I prefer that you don't come quietly. Must finish painting. Seriously, you're under arrest. Come along quietly and no one gets hurt. Actually, I prefer that you don't come quietly. Must finish painting. Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. Sounds fascinating. You can never...
Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. Is this art or is it advertising? I, I, I'm not. Is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No! Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that! Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next! Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on Channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. It says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for Locust. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. Hmm. Takes me back to my childhood. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard. He's a former child star. Oh, just lock him up and throw away to jail. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with the munchkin terrorist in my store? Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's eyeball, what is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. It makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy! I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. No, it's definitely a conspiracy. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, Lynn Pastrami, hairspray, tail tail. Stop right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sir, that's what you'd like to believe. Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes, he keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. Not even the National Guard can help us now. So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges. That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way. I've got BTAD, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. BTADs? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? Yep, Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Just pull a weapon, you'll see. Or try and walk out of here with something. Go ahead, I dare you. 
Maybe we will. I think we got it. Okay. Anything else? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So what do you want to buy? Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. What have you got? Well, I still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that! And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that! It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out a room of militant college students in no time. Guaranteed. I feel really close to you right now. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Or well, one really big one. You mean... White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Well, thanks. I try. How do you get out of that cage anyway? That's for me to know and you never to find out. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You'd been robbed as many times as I have, you'd do the same. I've never been robbed, actually. But then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. What were we talking about? We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-Loading Weekly? Oh, let me see that! What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-Loading Weekly? Oh, let me see that! Is that clock correct? Well, it's only got one hand, so probably not. One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already! Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. Hot weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh good, I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Sludgies. With 100% all-natural sludge. This week's flavors, wheatgrass and meatloaf. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. 
ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Buy nachos. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush? I'm sold! Use toilet brush. I'll pass. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Well, that's nice. What is? Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on. It's a free country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? This guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a federal case out of it. No, we don't have to. We want to. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh yeah, we've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, to Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. Come on, sing the Soda Popper theme song. No, I don't think so. What'll it take to get you to sing that song? We'll be your best friends. No. Are you sure you won't sing the Soda Popper song? I won't gnaw your leg off if you do it. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. Pretty please. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. 
Ugly, please? No. Come on, sing the soda popper song. I promise not to sing along. No. Come on, sing the soda popper song. No. Come on, sing the soda popper song. Well, okay. <laughs> Little Peeper, Specs, and Whizzer toiling out the soda works, guzzling with tiny gizzards. Soda fountain special perks. Then they run like human blizzards. More than simple soda jerks. Soda poppers more than jerks! Wow, I feel all clam chowdery inside. Sing that song again. No. Well, that's nice. What is? If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the iBo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. <laughs>